Well, we've had some warm temperatures for January and also uh, outside. <laughs> Pleasant evening tonight. Yeah, not too bad. In fact, uh, this morning we were in the 40s with the warm front that moved through and our temperatures jumped between about 4 o'clock this afternoon to uh, 9 o'clock this evening. 11 degrees, so that shows you how warm we are this evening. In fact, we're still sitting in the 50s tonight. Here in Portland, we're mostly cloudy. Most of the rain has really been up to the north. And here's the stats right now. A little breezy out there, too. The south winds gusting to 24 miles per hour, but those southerly winds really have to our temperatures jump up this evening. In fact, highs today, 53 degrees for Portland, and that was in the last hour or so. We were 53 in Salem, 54 for you in Astoria. And you could see warmer air, much, uh, much warmer air moving into Pendleton, 44 degrees, still below freezing in Baker City and you're still under winter weather uh, advisories out in your direction. Temperatures 52 again in Portland. We're at 50 in Prineville, 31 degrees in the Dows and 52 out in Newport. So here's to take a look at the radar. Notice all the rain has really stayed to our north today. Snow levels of course increased, but you could see the valley generally dry from downtown all the way down towards Salem and even Eugene. So a little closer look here out towards the coast range, getting some moderate rainfall as well as that story already picking up close to three inches of rain. Chehalis getting in some of the heavier rainfall now as well and then over the Oregon Cascades. Now out east again where the cold air is in place, we still have that wintry mix going on and a little bit of icing conditions going on as well. Over an inch of rain in Tillamook since midnight, just two tenths of an inch here in Portland. Lesser amounts to the south, but you look up towards the north over an inch and a half in Kelso and check it out near three inches uh, near Astoria. Now for tonight, rain amounts generally going to be about a half of an inch to an inch in most locations to the north. Highest elevations can maybe get maybe one to two inches, but you can see not really much here in Portland, probably about a tenth of an inch or less through tomorrow and generally just about a trace or uh, less than that actually down towards uh, Salem and Corvallis. So still watching the uh, flood watch for the area shaded in green. This goes until six o'clock for tomorrow. So additional one to two inches of rain still in the highest elevations and the winter weather advisories, including for Baker City that goes until 4 a.m. in the morning with a mix of rain and snow and potentially maybe two to five more inches for the Blue Mountains and then the highest elevations on the eastern slopes of the Washington Cascade. So looking at the big picture right now, we have an area of low pressure out in the Pacific and that warm front that crossed through. Now most of this moisture is really going to pull to the north. We have high pressure off of uh, the Pacific just west of California. That's really going to expand to the north. That's going to push that uh, storm track further north and we're going to end up being fairly dry through the end of tomorrow. Wednesday and on Thursday. So taking a look at the big picture, we will start to see some of the moisture advancing into our area, most likely by Thursday with that tailing cold front out in the Pacific. But again, if you follow the timeline here through Tuesday, we really just enjoy uh, mainly dry conditions. So for tomorrow, temperatures going to end up in the mid to possibly upper 50s in some areas along the coast. We'll see the rain ending here in the valley, but potentially seeing some of that night fog and the overnight fog. Rain will taper off out east as well as through the gorge and temperatures tomorrow right around government camp will end up right about 41 degrees with the snow level at 8,500 feet. So looking at the extended forecast, going to keep in the 50s for the next couple of days. And again, a few dry days in there. Rain returns Thursday night. We'll keep shower chances Friday.